वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल संपूर्ण अध्ययन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू दैट हाउ टू सिमुलेट इन द पीस बाइस सिंगल फेज मिड पॉइंट साइक्लो कन्वर्टर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ टू सिमुलेट द सिंगल फेज ब्रिज टाइप स्टेप डाउन साइक्लो कन्वर्टर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल ऑल्सो शो यू दैट हाउ टू सिमुलेट द ब्रिज टाइप स्टेप अप साइक्लो कन्वर्टर you can see that on the cover we have a schematic and also the responses of a step up and a step down cyclo converter so please watch the video till end and you can get the complete idea that how you are getting this let me show you first of all that uh, what are the uh, basics of the cyclo converters uh, in the case of a bridge type and also please subscribe subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get, get the uh notification on the latest uploads and you can follow our playlist on the uh, our channel page so that you can keep on updating your uh, knowledge with the p spice so let me start with the basics of the cyclo converter bridge type so let me show you uh, i have already discussed that uh, your cyclo converter is actually a frequency uh, changer device which is actually uh, working as a converter for the ac to ac kind of a uh applications and it has a two configuration a step up uh, configuration and a step down configuration whenever your output frequency is less than the supply frequency it is a uh, step down and whenever output frequency is higher than the supply frequency it is a step up you can follow my previous video of midpoint there i have actually already discussed these points now i uh, this were the actually midpoint uh, single phase cyclo converter which i covered now uh quickly moving to the bridge type single phase cyclo converter you can see that here we have the eight thyristor configurations which are connected between the supply and the load you can have a ac supply over here then you have a four combination of a thyristor in the bridge connected uh, fashion and you have again the uh, reversely connected bridge type uh, thyristor in the in this configuration so totally in uh, the thyristors are in number in eight and you can uh, name the this positively connected thyristor as a p converter and the reversely connected thyristor bridge configuration as a n converter what exactly happens whenever there your your uh, supply is here your uh, like thyristors uh, or p converter thyristors are triggered in such a way so that your load keep on getting the positive application of the voltage and in the for the uh, other part of the uh, like a uh, your supply you can uh, actually trigger your thyristor for the n converter in such a way so that you will always get the negative voltage envelope for this load so it all depends upon that how you are actually triggering these uh, uh, p converter bridge and the n converter bridge that we will try to understand here in the one response we can see that uh, for these many alterations uh, like a uh, two positive and one negative alterations we are keep on triggering the p converter only that means p converter is working over here from 0 to 3 pi and here at uh, this uh, much of a alpha angle delay when the p converters like here p1 p2 are actually triggered here p3 p4 are actually triggered so it is following the positive application of the uh, supply voltage at the load so here it still we are getting the positive voltages over here and again p1 p2 now after 3 pi and onwards up to the 6 pi uh, we are actually triggering the n converter which is the n1 n2 is triggered which is applying the voltage in negatively across the load and again n3 n4 and then again n1 n2 so in this particular waveform we actually whatever be the frequency it is getting one third of the supply frequency if we assume that the uh, fre supply frequency is 60 hertz so now it becomes 20 hertz so now in the piece by simulation whatever examples we have taken we have taken for the two alternations uh, so alterations of the actually uh, your supply voltage so based on that we will get the uh, supply uh, output frequency and the supply frequency so let uh, me go to that particular uh, window of the schematic quickly now here you can see that uh, let me first of all zoom out so that you can see that here we have a ac supply and we have the uh, eighth thyristor configuration with the load now let me zoom it again so that you can observe here we have a ac supply of a same 12 volt uh, uh, rms value and 50 hertz and then we have a pulse p converter bridge and then we have a n converter bridge with the p v pulse application so that it can trigger individually 
the thyristors and the, here we have connected a resistive load of a 1 kilo ohm and please do not forget to connect the uh, ground over here otherwise your simulation will not get completed it will also always show the uh, floating error uh, in your simulation so all these components you can easily get in your place part options like your thyristors you can get 2N1595 thyristor over here you can get uh, uh, like a, a V sign uh, for your uh, like any kind of AC source applications V sign source over here you can see and you can also get the V pulse V pulse over here uh, so that you can trigger your thyristors uh, just you uh, type capital R you will get the R analog that means your resistors okay now what is the main thing behind this all that uh, functionality of your uh, bridge type step down converter that in what manner you are actually applying the uh, triggering pulses so now right now i'm uh, considering that my supply frequency is 50 hertz so its basic time period will become 20 millisecond so now uh, for the alpha that means the uh, firing angle 90 degree how much delay we have to give we have to give the 5 millisecond so it is actually this x1 and uh, this x2 is working as a p1 p2 and your X3 and X4 are working as a P3, P4. Okay, so your P1, P2 is firstly triggered for the first half cycle. That means at the alpha angle 90 degree, the time delay is 5 millisecond for both. Okay, here the both are the time delay is 5 millisecond. The time period we are actually taking 40 millisecond because we are going to apply the step down configuration of the cyclo converter. So we are considering so for the four put two. Uh, sub alter alterations of your supply is still your voltage applied at the load is positive for the next two further alterations your uh, up, uh, voltage application is uh, remain negative then for the next two it is again uh, positive so the this is the concept we are actually following that means we are reducing the frequency by half okay so if it, it is a 50 hertz so as a result we will get the tw uh, 25 hertz supply so P, like x1 and x2 yeah, that means p1 p2 are triggered at the alpha angle 90 degree that is uh, time delay is 5 millisecond the pulse will, will will be remain 5 millisecond for both and time rise time fall all these settings are the same the pe period is the same for 40 millisecond for each of your thyristor wherever it is there okay now after this 5 millisecond to uh, 10 millisecond it will remain turn on because it's pulse with this 5 millisecond then we will turn on these two after the alpha milli like alpha firing angle that is uh, next uh, 90 degree uh, firing angle so the time de delay will become 15 millisecond because after one alteration your thyristor x3 and x4 will become forward bias and you can trigger uh, after uh, 90 degree uh, for alpha angle and you will get the accordingly the operation of these two thyristors uh, and still the voltage application across the load will be the same that is positive so 15 millisecond time delay we have given over here and the pulse width is remain 5 millisecond and the, all the other quantities are the same you can see now for the after two alteration uh, alter, alterations of your supply uh, now i am trying to apply the negative voltage across the your uh, resistor or the load so for that we are utilizing the n converter where this the particular x5 and x6 are n1 n2 and your x7 and x8 are the n, n3 n4 so that means after two uh, alterations of your supply that means uh, we are applying the things with the alpha 20 uh, so it will include the time delay 25 millisecond and 25 millisecond over here also with the pulse width of the 5 millisecond and again uh, you are actually applying the uh, next alteration that uh, with the alpha angle consideration that means you will become 35 millisecond time delay and 35 milli time, uh, millisecond time delay over here also with the pulse width of the 5 millisecond rest of the quantities are remain same the period is common to all that 40 millisecond that means your uh, basic uh, output vo voltage uh, fre frequency will become half of the supply frequency now what will be the simulation profile let me show you in the edit simulation profile because i have already created in my simulation so it is similar like we have a basic time period of a 20 millisecond so for uh, that uh, longer uh, time period we have run that is 200 millisecond 
and uh, maximum step size is 0.001 as we always used to take it so now let me simulate it and let's see that what uh, are the responses we are taking the responses of the input supply and output voltage also so let me go to the uh, simulation uh, result window so here we can see that this green one let me uh, make it thicker for you so that you can uh, easily observe the things in your video and uh, this is your supply voltage it becomes uh, much thicker so let me make it a little bit uh, less thicker so and this is uh, the uh, pink one is your output voltage so now you can see that your green one is your supply voltage for two alterations of your supply voltage your output voltage is remain positive which is applied at the alpha degree 90 degree alpha 90 degree angle and uh, which is shown as a time delay 5 millisecond because your one alteration is of a 10 milliseconds for the rest of the 5 millisecond it is on and for the first 5 millisecond it is off now uh, similarly goes well with this uh, negative alteration so this means for this two alterations of the supply green one is uh, the, your output is still positive next two it is negative with the n converter then next two it is still positive with the p converter next two it is still negative with the n converter and same goes on well with the uh, further on so this is nothing but your step down cyclo converter and your frequency will become 25 hertz only so this is the nothing but the uh, bridge type step down cyclo converter so uh, i hope you have understood about this uh, con like uh, configuration and all these things and we have also the uh, step up uh, cyclo converter in the bridge configuration which i will cover in the second uh, video these are the some application of the cyclo converter which you can apply the cyclo converter for the speed control of a high frequency ac drives induction heating static var compensation on the transmission lines for converting the variable speed alternators voltage to constant frequency output voltage for use as a power supply in an aircraft or the shipboard so different applications are there based on that you have to choose your cyclo converter whether it should be step down or step up or whatever and what uh, configuration you want single phase uh, bridge type or uh, midpoint type or the uh, like three phase configuration so uh, with this i am ending my video and i uh, request you all to please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so that you can get the latest 